Afrobeat News people, guys, it's me, Kelvin. Welcome back to Afrobeat News, the number one source for Afrobeat entertainment and just coming at you. Don't forget, guys, to like and subscribe as well as turn on post notification and stay tuned for more Afrobeat related entertainment and just coming at you. So, guys, first up, let's start with OBO Davido. Now, there's been a tweet of Davido that recently resurfaced. Now, this tweet is from 10 years ago. Now, this was Davido 10 years ago where Davido was tweeting and feeling like he wasn't really much appreciated and that he was underrated anyway let me just go on and read the tweet so you guys can really get an understanding of how the video was feeling back then so this is the video 10 years ago tweeting not to sound cocky but i feel like i'm really underrated man i'm fucking good my time is coming real soon so guys as they would say right the rest they say is history so guess what 10 years later now the video is one of the biggest artists in the world has conquered nigeria africa and is now conquering the world globally on a very massive scale so guys what do you think about this particular tweet from davido 10 years ago davido pretty much saying that he feels like he's not really being appreciated as much as he should be and now with how far davido has come it's just it's just amazing to see and to be honest people i still feel like davido is not as much appreciated as he should be for example would be davido a better time album which honestly i feel is a classic album the album was well done well constructed um lyrically was just up there on point well thought of you know instrumentally was great and everything and you have that album not shown as much love compared to let's say made in lagos album a made in lagos album doesn't really come close to a better time album if i'm being very honest with you guys i think made in lagos was trash a better time 10 times is better than a uh, um, whiskey made in lagos but uh, at the same time, you don't have people having so much conversation about Davido's efforts or Davido's album. People, people are not really referring to that album as a classical album. But already you have Whiskey FC going crazy and referring to Whiskey Made in Lagos as a classical album, which sounds very insane to me. But guys, the more you think about this, and we're moving on to the next gist. You have Femio Tedola, the billionaire and business mogul and tycoon Femio Tedola coming out here to support his daughter music and her education in case some of you don't know dj copy you know the very popular dj copy her father is the billionaire femi or ted dollar and also she recently got admitted into oxford university for you know her studies and everything and this is her father coming out here to show his support for both her music career and also her education this is what femi or ted dollar tweeted right a proud father that always supports my daughter at Copy Music made a classic album with original copy, Oxford University Nest. Now, first up, guys, do you agree with Femi or Tedula that DJ Copy's original copy, the album, is a classic album? And secondly, what do you think about DJ Copy going to Oxford University? Do you think that will hinder her music career or... On the other hand, do you think she'll be able to manage both her music career as well as her university education and we're moving on to the next gist you have the fast rising afrobeat sensation the ever beautiful thames you know taking us to a studio session a day in her life where she was just in a studio freestyling having a good time here's a clip of that really and then the beat drops you know you really go in mind you know you really go in my mind You know you really go in my mind So let me help you squeeze I know you watching me I know you bugging me Yeah you want it baby and guys, what do you think about Thames Freestyle? Do you think it was good? Do you think it was up there as usual? And we're moving on to the next gist. And I think these are mostly for mostly for the ladies. So in case some of you don't know, um, one of her grandson, Marikuti, recently took photo that a lot of ladies out there are going crazy. Like the guy honestly is a handsome dude. So he took this shirtless photo that girls have been going crazy for this is that particular photo what do you think about it and in case most of you guys want an introduction into Marikuti's music sometime last year he dropped a um single and uh, that single i think was a strong introduction into the person of Marikuti. 
um, you guys can go check it out right now anyway moving on to the next gist you have the musical legend the icon dmx now you guys know he recently passed away and um here's a clip of dmx body being um reading across um, new york city this will be the last time that dmx would ever ride through new york city here's a clip of that roll it So guys, what do you think about DMX body being rolled across New York City in that massive truck? Do you think that particular deed commemorates the icon or represents what a legend that he truly was? Anyway, still on DMX, as some of you know, right, the guy passed away and uh, his funeral services was recently held. Here is a clip of one of his daughters during his funeral service making a rendition or her own version of uh, one of DMX song titled Sleeping. Here is the video, roll it. Even when I'm feeling sad, y'all call him DMX. I call him dad, yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. And yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. And yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. My daddy's still holding my hand, so I gotta stand up. And yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. And yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. And yo, I'm growing, I'm learning to hold my head up. My daddy's still holding Guys, what do you think about that beautiful, beautiful rendition of her father's song, Sleeping? Pretty much see she's out here celebrating her father's life. And guys, as it's still on DMX, you have one of DMX's closest friends and frequent collaborators, Sweet Beats. And Sweet Beats, during um, DMX service, came out to address something that I feel needs to be addressed. Now, in case some of you have not noticed, right, whenever an artist passed away, there's usually an upsurge in his streaming numbers and there's an upsurge in the amount of love the artist usually gets. A lot will become introduced to this artist during their death. And uh, there's this particular argument that goes on during that period of time is when this artist passed away, this love that all of a sudden just come from nowhere is this authentic love or is this fake love? That's something that people are always eager to know because it's, 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 it's like it has happened with a lot of artists. You know, when Da Green passed away, it was, uh, that was the time that, you know, most people got, got to discover Da Green music for the first time. Same thing with MC Love. Same thing with even international artists like Exos Estentacion. And a lot of these um, stars, when they passed away, like when they passed away, then you have people start discovering the music, people start showing love to them, you know, their streams go up all of a sudden. For example, would be the case of DMX. DMX streams went up about 200%. That is a huge percentage, right? His streams went up that much. And with all of these streams that's coming up and all of this love, all these people discovering him, we are always forced to ask the question, is this genuine? Why didn't this come when the artist was alive? Why is it coming now? But anyway, guys, not to talk too much. This is Sweet Speed pretty much addressing that and letting us know what's up. Here's the clip. Roll it. I just love, I just, the only part is like, you know, I just wish all these people showed up for him when he was here. You know what I'm saying? We got thousands of people claiming who they are and tickets and things like that. This man needed everybody. He didn't need everybody when he's not here. He needed everybody when he was here. You understand? So we got to learn how to celebrate each other while we're here. I don't want y'all to show up to my shit when I'm gone. Unless you was showing up while I was here. I want to be sent off with the same love that I had when you were standing next to me. The things that I'm witnessing 
from my brother's passing, it's a big educational, it was a big educational thing for me to learn. I'm glad that I got to see it at this age. A lot of people ain't your friends. A lot of people ain't your family. And I need everybody to do a will. You have to do your will. You do not want strangers, bloodsuckers, handling your business when you're not here. You want the ones that you love handling your business. But I'm going to make sure my brother's straight. I'm going to make sure my brother's family's straight, my brother's kids are straight, and everybody in here better do the same as well. Because this is not a fashion show. This is not a performance. This is a real life day to day. And I love everybody that. So, guys, what do you think about Sweet Speed's opinion as regards, you know, what is going on with the love being shown to DMX during his death? Now, moving on to the next gist, you have um, the legend. <laughs> I'll call him a legend, a music icon, the one and only one day cool. Now, when the cool was spotted hanging out with Vexy, making music they're, they're vibing together making music and um here's a clip of that roll it so guys what do you think about this are you looking forward to a one day co rexy collaboration and do you think that rexy will be able to stand his ground you know make a good beat that would suit one day call and um i won't ask the question the other way around because i was supposed to ask you guys do you think that one day will be able to you know you know produce a hit you know with the vexy and uh of course that question would not would be completely completely senseless because we all know that one day call is a goat one of the greatest of all time that guys know that guy knows how to kill the beast and each and every time he delivers uh, with bangers anyway moving on to the next gist we have joe boy now joe boy one of the one of the new school cats now one of the um newer school in like new newer generation artist that is just killing the game on a whole massive level now this guy has received another validation now this is coming from you know the canadian born international global sensation Justin Bieber. And in case some of you don't know what's going on or what I'm trying to talk about, Justin Bieber recently followed Joe Boy on Instagram. Now, people are already saying that this is a co sign from Justin Bieber. We know that Justin Bieber had done the same thing with O'Malley and also Thames. Now, my question to you guys is that do you actually think that this is a co sign from Justin Bieber? you know with the fact that just people has willingly followed three of our new school cards the omalis the thames and now the joe boy what do you think about these guys tell me your opinion in the comment section down below and uh, moving on to another gist actually this is not the gist this is just a clip right of Kanye west now some of you must have seen this particular clip like um uh when it first started circulating the internet but um i just still want to put it out here in case some of you have forgotten this was back when you know um, Kanye west was going around churches in in like in the u.s doing this is choir administration for this particular um Kanye west choir administration he used one of davido's biggest singles so there's this classical song if and he remixed it into a choir administration at a church service. Here's a clip of that. Roll it. No greater love than one would lay down his life for me. Guys, 
tell me you feel the way I feel after listening to that. That feels so liberating. That was just a wonderful rendition of um, David Doe's. If, uh, and guys, put down in the comment section down below if you actually like uh, what Kanye West did with David Doe's Eve single. And let's move on to another. Just, you have uh, the Tanzanian music star Diamond Platinums. He was recently themed in singing a song for his, his daughter. It's such a very, very cute um moment and experience he was just pretty much chilling having fun with his daughter here's a clip of that roll it <laughs> and guys moving on from that to now in sports international news um in case you guys don't know i'm a big fan of mma i do watch ufc fights and everything and um there's this nigerian born ufc fighter known as Kumaru Usman. this guy recently defended his belt against a very very tough opponent known as george masvidal and um fortunately for the guy he pulled through in the second round of the fight he was able to knock this guy out clean sealing himself a victory you know by second round knockout spectacular win and also this guy just made history because right now he holds the record for the second longest winning streak in ufc history the highest of course is anderson silver and for those that know ufc you know that anderson silver is a legend like that guy was one of the goats now you have kumaro usman pretty much right behind of anderson silver and in line to in fact beat anderson silver's record so yeah guys kumaro usman a nigerian born mma fighter making history defending his belts and retaining his belt still the welter with champion in ufc and guys that's pretty much it moving on to another gist and this is just a, a like a funny a funny um clip or will i say a funny picture that i've been turning online so apparently there's this girl that thought she saw um rema right so she saw a particular guy that looks like rema and she took pictures of the guy and she was so i guess flabbergasted that she even went forward to post these pictures with a caption and this is the caption she, she posted it with yo so i met rema yesterday he's so gentle huh? and guys these are the pictures these are these are the pictures and the funniest thing about these pictures is that the guy that she met still went ahead to take pictures <laughs> with this girl knowing that this girl would be so happy that you know thinking that she has met rema and post this online making her look like a complete um i don't know <laughs> anyway guys um uh, i'll reserve my thoughts on this what do you guys think about this do you think it's funny or are you guys are you, are you guys thinking something else so guys that's pretty much where i'm going to end it today guys don't forget guys to like and subscribe as well as post notification and stay tuned for more afrobeat related entertainment also don't forget to share with your friends and family i'm out now guys peace